Jack Tchaikovsky wearing the knee guard, the knee skins are seat pads. I think it's easy. Wow! Lanan, straight away. Sorry to cut you off, no, but wow, what a frenetic start. An overhand right into a double underhook takedown. Fantastic start from Tag Lanan. Tag Lanan, I think a little bit of chip on the shoulder of Lanan. He had a few performances that didn't go his way, and he wants to showcase that he is one of the elite in Ireland at this weight class, and he is putting it on the champion straight away here in the opening round. Jack Tchaikovsky will look to throw up a triangle. But intelligent defense work from Taglanan on top. Ty just looking to establish the position, switching into side control. Looks to roll his wrist out of the grip of Jack Jukowski. Maybe, Maybe looking to set up ahead on triangle yeah. momentarily, loses the position. As you can see, it's just happy to get into position, hold that position, and then walk. So here we go. Maybe looking for the crucifix. Position before submission, though. Staying calm. Very experienced. Four and four is the record, but at amateur, this is where you win or learn. So this is his ninth amateur bout, and it is Jakowski's seventh, of course, the champion five and one as an amateur. Yeah, and Tag's no, he's no stranger to big, to big occasions. You know, he, he's fought at Crook, or sorry, he, he's competed at Crook Park for Galway. Yeah, he's competed uh, as part of the 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 rugby, the Ireland rugby team at under 19. He's a BJJ blue belt. He has a wealth of sporting experience. He's just a natural athlete, I think, is what you're alluding to as well, Phil. And here he's showcasing pure control and control over Jack Tchaikovsky. That's, that's high-level stuff to do this to the reigning champion. Looks to set him to scarf. Thought about Christopher's position. Jack manages to get the arm out. And as well, with amateur titles, there are three rounds, of course. So Tchaikovsky will know. So far, he's way down on the judges' scorecards here. So the champion will want to do something to better improve his position. Tries to get out of there, and he does. Good scramble by Zakowski, but the man is on him. Not allowing Zakowski any room to breathe or reset. Good head position as well by the man, just stuffing his head under the jaw. May look to switch levels and grab this leg of Jack Zakowski, stopping it up with knees. May look the knee to the body at that stage. As corner call for knees to the body, there we go. And Jukowski just holding on to that right arm of Tiglin and the wrist control. And tries to create distance with that knee shield. The knee shield in position, trying to stop them knees coming in from Tiglin and. And you got to say, so far, Phil, the challenger has really stepped it up to the champion in the opening round. Yeah, has, has the real bit between his teeth. And we know in MMA, if you're going to take the title from the champion, you have to do it definitively. 10 second copper here, and this first round seems to have flown by, probably not for Jack Tchaikovsky. Whoa, Stay big right shot! Was knee. that a knee to the head? That knee was close, Aiden Marin is having a look, calling time. Unfortunately, we don't have the option of a replay as we're sitting here live in the venue, but that looked close, and again, it's just fighter instinct. That wasn't an intended illegal shot, but Aiden Marin will just tell Tiger Nam to choose your weapons and your targets. Be careful. But this could be a blessing in disguise in some ways, Phil, because yeah. Jack Zakowski could be giving five minutes recovery time here. Yeah, and what, what I'd be saying, if, if I was the corner of, of Jack Zakowski, was if you are allotted the five minutes, take as long as you need up to the five minutes. We know it wasn't intentional. Tiger Nam's a gentleman of the sport, but he's protesting it was the shoulder. Be interesting to see how a referee and his arm plays. For me, looking at it live, it looked like it was at the head. It may have hit the forearms, but it's still hammering in on the head. So, a Marin is asked, Jack Tchaikovsky, we are right, and we're back on the way, but only for the bell to ring. So, 
That's something, Phil, you were alluding to there. Take the five minutes. It's something that you don't see fighters do. Yeah. They just, no, I'm fine. It's almost like an ego thing. No, I'm fine. Let's keep going. It's well within the rules there. After a, a grinding first round like that, if, if I were Jukowski, I would be taking the time to reassess, settle, get my breathing back, and also just stall the momentum of tagging on going into the second round. I agree totally there. Uh, but Jack Jukowski just said, oh, I'm fine. Let's keep going. But uh, talk about that opening round. It's dominant opening round by the challenger coming in. Looks comfortable. Landed the big, he throws the big shot to close the distance. Almost like German done earlier on in the night. Once he closed the distance, he stuck to Jack Sikowski. As if there was a bit of super glue on their chest, he just stuck to him and wasn't giving Sikowski any room. It'll be interesting to see uh, how, how Tag approaches this. Is he, is he perhaps going to be, when it comes to the knees to the body, which he was utilising well, is there going to be something in his head making him a little bit gun shy to through that? That's a great point. You know, it, it is something that he's been warned, and again, if that was the land, even accidentally again, Aiden Marin could take a point, so... Or worst case scenario, it could be a disqualification. Excellent point, and a touch of gloves. It was unintentional by Jack, uh, by Tyler Nan, an absolute gem to the sport. In on a big takedown, and Tyler Nan is showcasing incredible grappling of power here. As Jack N on a guillotine choke from half guard. Very difficult to finish from that position, but we he's have seen it earlier. Yep. Yeah. Tag looks like he's popped the head out, he has indeed. Jack looks to create space by popping the hips out backwards, but he's met with the cage. Jukowski's just trying his best to even get a knee in there to cause separation and push Lenan off him, but Lenan, beautiful, smothering work again and change of position. Each time Jukowski tries to better the position, Lenan knows now. Jukowski's holding on to a Kimura grip here. Yep. He could use that more so to sweep or to threaten to get back to his feet. Yeah, so it's very unlikely that he'll finish the shoulder lock from here, but as you say, it can be used to sweep or even to incapacitate your opponent. Got to be careful of the back there as well. And man could step across there. Jack needs to sit through. He needs to do something or he's going to get his back taken by Tag. And Kamara Grip is now gone. And Tag intelligently switches to the other side to land strikes. Good roll by Jakowski, but as you say, Tag went on on him. But Jakowski gets the turn now. And what can Jack Jakowski, your champion, offer from top? This is the first opportunity Jack has had to really see what he can do in this top position. Land big strikes. And the IFS corner like that, and Daniel all Jacek up at his feet, roaring instructions at his teammate. He may look to, oh, and then Mike, Jack Jakowski sidles into mine. He just retained half guard, Billy Mike stages this from your angle, but Renan got it, but big shot and big second half of the round here by a champion. But now the scramble, and it's a reverse position, and Renan is in changing and chasing, and he's now in half guard of Jack Jakowski. Strikes being landed by Tag Renan. This is something, Phil. Before your fight, we were breaking down. I was just talking with Johnny Burrows, and he said this is the fight on the car. He's jumping out at him. Two of them are such high-level grapplers and fighters that it's going to be interesting where the fight takes place and who can get the better of these fights that run in inches. To do the whole Al Pacino, yep. it's inches that, that is true, man. Yeah. That is true. It may come down to, you know, they're not dissimilar fighters at all. Jack attempts to step through there, but Tag sticks on him. Lovely shot landed underneath from Tag. I even have it in my notes, similar style fighters, and, and that's what we're seeing here. And the man just on the body lock trying to step into mount, and it's Jakowski in a row. Good scramble, and they're back on their feet. Hands landed by Jack. And a big right hand by the man that allows him to close the distance. That's a beautiful right hand Look, shot. Drives him down to the ground. This is, un this is unlike any version of Tag we've ever seen before. He's clearly been putting the hours in. He wants this belt, and he knows he has to take it emphatically from Jack. Well, in his corner, you've Anders Binder, who, of course, competes regularly on Clan Wars as well. And absolutely doko master class of a fighter as well. So that's going to help Tag Lanham. But Jack Jakowski show, look, I'm the champion. If you want this belt, you've got to take it off me. Yeah. What we can say is that Jack Jakowski is tough as nails. Lesser fighters would have been wilted by what happened at the end of that first round. Yet Jack did have moments in that second round that's going to give him hope that his corner are going to see, that they're going to pick up on and say, yes, you are capable of this. However, if we're looking at this objectively, Jack Jakowski may need a finish to retain his title. Talk us with this, though, Phil. You as a, a, an actual fighter as well. How exhausting are them grappling exchanges? It may look like nothing's going on, but the fact of the matter is, no, that if somebody has me down, I have to carry their weight, and that's exhausting. If, if I'm on top of somebody, they have to carry my weight. 
It's a really interesting dynamic that really needs further exploration. You can see the coach of Tagline on Ben Davis. Just get him every kind of encouragement he can. It's an answer of Ben Davis in the corner of Tagline on and yeah, as you said, Jack Zakowski may need a finish to here and still the touch of the glove. Very competitive championship bout, as you expect, with the matchmaking here on Clan Wars. And regardless, this has been an unbelievable fight, hasn't it? It's got a real back and forth, and it's, it's pure scrambles, and again, it's the inches that will win this fight. Lovely hook there from Zakowski. Thought about the spin bike fest. Ah, oh, gives up his back, unfortunately. The, the danger, the risk of, and the gamble of throwing a high risk spin is the tax you pay is somebody taking your back like this, and you do not want Tiglan on in this position so early in the third. Tiglan on needs to change his nickname from the Tiger to the Backpack. Satchel will be beautiful. And yeah, and Jones wears his satchel. Indeed, no, indeed. Here we are, you can see Jack Tchaikovsky just working as well, I think maybe on the Kamara grip, but just obstructed from air view here. But look at the intelligence of Tag Mananda to grab the wrist. Just that means he can flatten Tchaikovsky out. Tchaikovsky then can't post up on that to create space. Very intelligent work from, from Tag Mananda. This, if you were could ask Tag Mananda at the start of the third round, what would you like, what position would you like to be in? I think he'd be, I think he'd laugh if you offered him this, but this is where he's got it and the challenger May look to try and take uh, try and take the back here and get his hooks in, but he seems happy to be in this position. He's in the dominant position and can land straight. He's winning the fight, so yeah. why should he gamble and risk losing the Clan Wars title here? He's up potentially Clan Wars title. Has Jack, has Jack, Jack title. got a Kimura? Could use it a sweep. This is very Frank Mayer and O'Gara style here. Tiglin on defends intelligently. Uses it to sweep just as he's saying, though. No. Good foresight. And Jack Zikowski now, he's really got a Rain down hell on Tiger Man and scramble. What a scramble! Ends up in the north south position here, your champion. And the man again constantly moving, looking to get back to his feet. And he does well to land up in the guard of Jack Zikowski. Dives right back into it. Embracing the grind on the mat here. Zikowski looks to, to, to grab the more grip again. Open guard of Jack Zikowski. He needs to do something emphatic right now. Again, looking for that Kamara. Step over from Lenan to negate that. I'm breathless just watching these two know. Yeah, this is it. Intoxicating to watch and see this exchange. High level grappling. And again, Zikowski hunting for the Kamara, but it seems like every time he rolls for it, Lenan's got the answer. Someone gave him the cheat sheet. Looks to put his knee on the bicep of Jakowski to land a few more strikes. Just to put an exclamation point at the end of this fight. A hard stretch to somehow see how a judge is going to score this for your champion. So Jack Jakowski looks like he's having transition to a belly down on board, but I don't think he has enough time. There it goes. The wow, my. Three minutes are up. Folks, we've just seen two incredible grapplers showcase that here. We're going to go to the judges' scorecards. I have a feeling we're going to be crowning a new champion. I but it's not my opinion of that matters, Bill. It's the three judges' case, though. I tell you what, striking is great to watch. Punches, kicks, knees, knockouts. But for somebody that doesn't understand the grappling aspect of the sport, I would show them this fight. What an exciting exchange, both with uh, the locks, the takedowns, then on the ground, the transitions and the scrambles. Both men take a bye. Let's go over to Nolo Keith for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both fighters. After three championship rounds, we don't.